A good way to graph something like this is to first rewrite it in slope-intercept form. So that means that we want to make it look like y equals mx plus b. y equals something times x plus another something. In other words, I need to get this y by itself. For this equation to get the y by itself, I can subtract 2x on both sides of the equation. Remember, if I do it on both sides of the equation, the equation remains equivalent. And those will cancel, giving me y is equal to negative 5 minus 2x. But to write it in that form, I'm just going to write is equal to negative 2x uh, minus 5. Now, our slope-intercept form tells us that the whatever's in this position is going to be the slope. It represents the rise over run. In this case, that's negative 2. And whatever is the constant term at the end is going to be the y-intercept, and in this case, negative 5. A y-intercept of negative 5 means that um, we start at the point 0, Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's going to be, the graph is going to go through this point here. And then if I have a slope of negative 2, that means each time to get to my next point, I have a rise over run of minus 2. I go down 2 over 1, another point. Down 2 over 1, another point. And if I were to go in the opposite direction, uh, the opposite of down 2 over 1 would be up to back one. And we can see that that is consistent. It puts the points in a line. And now all I need to do is connect the line to complete my graph. By connecting these dots and putting the line through it, I have a representation of the complete set of x and y values, which makes this original equation true. So, um, all of these are solutions in two variables to the equation. Thank you very much.